Hi everybody, it's Dr. Matt. Welcome to the Pain Sucks channel. And uh, I'm super happy that you're here today. I wanna spend a couple minutes and talk you through one of my favorite things to do for the spine, for myself and for clients when they're dealing with herniated disc, bulges in their, in their spine, or just in general back problems and neck problems. Now these are things that I think actually change the course of healing and I really wanted to share them with you today. So I'm gonna talk you through it, but I want you to wait until the end, um, and at the very end, I'll tell you exactly what to do, exactly what to get, exactly what to watch, and exactly how to do it. So stick with me, because I need to talk you through some of the anatomy first. Um, that being said, I want you to, before we start, make sure you subscribe so that you get these weekly tips, because I know that a lot of people are reaching out, We're getting a lot of people are getting a lot of help from these tips, and they're watching their healing go to the next level, so make sure you subscribe, Make sure you click that little bell because that's the one that tells people uh, that a new video has come in and then I want you to share this, okay? So today I wanna to talk to you about movement um, and not in the way that you're used to being talked to. So if, if you've been to the doctor because of a back problem, and neck problem, you've probably heard one of two things, stop moving or keep moving. And both of those are good and both of those are bad. And let me explain because movement is so important to healing and so when people come to me and they're saying things like, I was told to keep moving, I was told to keep walking, I was told to keep doing these, or people say, I was told to not do this anymore, not do that anymore. Um, it's very confusing. Listen, the spine was made to move, right? You know that. I mean, without this spine and its ability to move, you couldn't touch your toes, pick things up, throw a ball, do the things that you love. And so we've got to keep movement through our spine but when we're healing from a spine injury, what does that movement need to look like? So when I'm consulting with people and I read like on a Facebook page where people are consulting and they're like, keep moving, keep moving, I'm all for it. Yes, go for a walk. Yes, while you're healing, use the elliptical. Yes, keep moving. But you won't heal correctly until you get the proper movement healed. Let me explain that. The spine has two types of movement. It has a gross movement, which is where like an entire area of the spine moves at the same time. Like if you're looking down at your toes and you, or, or like if you're maybe turning your head in the car when you change lanes or like maybe you're bending over to tie your shoes, right? So um, one of the things though that people don't know is it's the spine has a second type of movement, which is called micro movements or micro motion is what I like to call it. And that like if we use the low back is where each individual joint moves upon the joint above and the joint below. So like these three bones work together in harmony, but they also work individually. I hope that makes sense because when people say keep moving, they're typically meaning just keep moving, like, like for your heart rate and your blood pumping and all the good things that happen. But very rarely does someone even know, much less know to tell someone, much less know to tell them what to do, on how to keep each individual joint. Now, what does that have to do with back problems? Well, let's take this low back, for instance, and we look at this and we can see our herniated disc right there, our bulging disc right there. A long time ago, you lost these little movements. How do I know? Because that's how people bulge and herniate discs unless they got hit by a car. A long time ago, you lost these movements, the ligaments locked down, the joints locked down. You didn't know, you didn't feel bad, everything was good, you could still touch your toes because gross movement was still good, right? The whole thing together was still letting you touch your toes. But the individuals beginning to suffer, the ligaments began to build arthritis, um, they began to harden down, the discs began to dehydrate because now that we don't have the little movement, the discs are not eating correctly. That's the other thing, hey disc people, listen to me. Your discs need to eat correctly and that comes through proper small movement. And so we don't have it, we dehydrate, the disc doesn't know where to go, the joint is locked, the nerve is pinched, you're in pain, the disc comes out and we're at the surgeons because we lost a small movement. The surgeon doesn't wanna do surgery, we go to physical therapy. And listen, I'm all for exercise, I'm all for therapy. But those type of things strengthen the gross movement. Like if I have this injury here and I'm strengthening all these muscles around it, that's great. I might feel some relief from that, I might get better from that to a degree. But unless I start getting these individual movements back along with that other stuff, I'm never gonna hydrate again. I'm never gonna get my discs to, 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 to raise in height again. I'm never gonna get the bone uh, heights to separate so the nerves are no longer pinched. And for those of you that you know are really dead set on wanting every part of that disc 
to go back in. It'll never happen unless we get these motions back. And so when people say to me, should I keep moving? I'm like, yes, let's keep you moving. Exercise, good. Let's figure out which one you want. And two, let's get the micro motion back. Now, this is my favorite thing in the world for micro motion because I can just sit on it. And when I sit on it and I go back and forth, forward to back and twist, which are the motions of the spine, I actually can start to flood these ligaments with blood and I can start to move these joints where the gross movement isn't really doing anything, but the small movements are doing everything. And that begins the process of great healing for the spine. I hope that makes sense versus gross versus micro motion versus movement versus the movement of the micro motion. So now I'm going to make you do a little homework, right? People are like, well, how do I use it? And where do I get that? That you're going to actually have to stop watching this video and go find that video. Um, I believe it's called $13 disc, Amazon, right? Uh, that will help you restore those micro movements to start the process of healing in those herniated discs. So the next time someone calls and says, oh, I have a back injury and you tell them to keep moving or somebody calls you and says, keep moving. I hope right now your brain goes, yes, I'll go for a walk, but first I'm going to use this. All right, you guys, I'm Dr. Matt. This is the pain sucks channel. Please share, please subscribe, please like, please click on that button. People are healing because you're sharing and I love it. And it's so great. So guys have a wonderful day.